Here is another case, y'all, that came out in the New York Post, April 21st, 2019. Another person that Michael Avenatti ripped off. Michael Avenatti is a piece of shit for real. Now, this man had to pay out on a lawsuit. All right, I'm going to show him to you. He played for the Miami Heat. And Michael Avenatti, in, instead of paying his client the money in this settlement, he took the money and bought a jet. That's why I'm saying before this whole thing is over, you're going to see more people come out that Michael Avenatti did not give money to people like the handicapped guy, the one that's disabled. And now we have yet another client that was never paid and Michael Avenatti stole their money. Avenatti embezzled millions meant for Hassan Whiteside X report. So this is Hassan Whiteside right here in the picture next to Michael Avenatti. Lightning Rod lawyer Michael Avenatti is accused of embezzling nearly $2 million that was supposed to be uh, given to a client to settle her lawsuit against NBA X Hassan Whiteside blowing the funds on a private jet, a report said Sunday. He got a hell of a lot of nerve, y'all. Damn, this man got a lot of nerve. He got a lot of freaking nerve. Miami Heat Hoopster had wired $2.75 million to Avenatti in January 2017, intending to cover the bulk of his $3 million settlement with former flame Alexis Gardner, who was repped by Avenatti. Yeah, there go your big mistake right there. The Los Angeles Times reported, citing court filings. Avenatti was entitled to keep roughly $1 million cut to cover his legal fees, but instead allegedly pocketed the whole sum, stalling Gardner by telling her that the initial payment covered only his share and that hers would come over 96 small uh, monthly payment installments, the report said. Oh, he did this to the handicapped guy too. He took his $4 million and then gave him $1,000 monthly installments. Now that man has nothing because he got cut off from his disability. So he did the same stunt with her. But just one day after receiving the wire transfer from Whiteside, Avenatti shifted around $2.5 million between bank accounts to pay for half share of a private jet, HA420 jet, the report said, citing bank records. Avenatti paid off Gardner for a few months, but eventually stopped those payments, even falsely claiming to the actress, um, Barista, that Whiteside had breached their settlement by skipping installments, prosecutors allege. Well, she could easily find that out by just talking to him if that's her ex. Avenatti alleged mishandling of Gardner's case. The exact nature of remains unclear is just part of a 36-count federal indictment the high-profile attorney is facing. Damn. The same indictment alleges that Avenatti who rose to prominence representing porn star Stormy Daniels in her suit against ex-lover President Trump, ripped off four other clients, including a mentally ill paraplegic man. This man is a dirtbag. Avenatti, who is separately facing charges that he tried to extort $20 million from sportswear giant Nike, uh, reiterated his full denial of any wrongdoing in a statement to the Los Angeles Times. 
No monies were ever embezzled from anyone. And I look forward to all of the relevant documents and facts being presented at trial, he wrote to the paper. This man is ridiculously crazy. This man is crazy. I don't understand why they didn't take his law license away at this point. With all this stuff going on out in the news, the Bar Association, you need to do your job and take Michael Av uh, Avenatti's law license away. He doesn't need to practice law anymore. This man is nothing but a crook with a law license. That's all he is. But please tell me what you think, y'all. This is just crazy right here. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.